good morning to all of you in today's lecture of rtd resistance temperature detector so today we are going to learn about what is basically a resistance temperature detector what are its various parts what is basically its working principle and what are its advantages and disadvantages at first happy new year 2023 to all of you i have started one more youtube channel whose link is basically given in description box and first and last slides also so those who are interested for just the short videos or the tips related with chemical engineering they can directly enhance their knowledge from there also so at first what is rtd as the name suggests it is basically a electronic device that is used to measure the temperature with respect to the change in resistance in a normal technician here basically we have this sensing element that is basically a wire made up of different type of elements as per our requirements we are preferring this over other type of temperature detectors because it gives us high accurate readings and its sensing time is very fast 0.5 to 5 seconds it gives us instant responses and it is used over a wide ranges of temperatures that i will be going to tell you in the next slides here if you see at the diagram then here we have the connecting rod here we are have this fittings then we have this protecting tube if this is our pipeline then it can be easily installed here the main thing you have to take care is that that the bottom sensing element it must be tipped inside the fluid whose temperature you are going to basically measure so if we talk about the working principle of this rtd so temperature of the metals as the temperature of the metals increases the resistance to the flow of electric current also increases this is the basic working principle on this on which this rtd works now how it works that basically i am going to tell you let us consider this as a part of the metal inside this metals let us consider there are few electrons that i have shown suppose there are few electrons and here you are passing the electric current so when electric current passes through this metal then what happens the atoms they are, that are basically present inside this metal they are going to provide some resistance to the electrons present in this electric current as the temperature goes on increasing these atoms inside the metal they are going to vibrate at very high speeds so as the temperature increases this vibration increases accordingly the resistance to the flow of electrons also increases means you can easily show that as the temperature of the metals goes on increasing the resistance to the flow of electric current always increases but the proportion in which this resistance increases it varies from metal to metal it can be made more clear from this formula rt is equal to r not 1 plus alpha t minus t not where rt is the resistance at a particular temperature this r not is basically resistance at 0 degree centigrade alpha is basically the temperature coefficient and t is the temperature at which we want to measure the resistance and t not is basically the initial temperature now here this is sensing elements as i have shown here is basically the main part that senses this variation in temperatures and it provides us the reading these are basically the connecting wires they can be a few meters long also with this connecting wires this signal can be given to this which is stone bridge which is stone bridge is basically a circuit that is present in your dcs or your plc system so according to this variation in this resistance sense sing done by this sensing element this sweet stone bridge gives output as a electronic voltage it gives signal as a voltage in this voltmeter and there we are basically using a transducer this transducer basically changes this change in voltage signal to the change in current of range from 4 to 20 milliampere and we can easily measure this temperature the resistance changes to the change in temperature to our desired value of electronic value of current 
from 4 to 20 milliampere. So this is basically the whole flow. This electrical resistance is basically measured in the terms of the ohm that already I have told and moving to next. If we talk about the different types of RTD, then this RTD basically consists up of sensing element as I have already told. These sensing elements are basically made up of platinum, copper, nickel and tungsten. They have basically each one applications depend upon the temperature in which you are going to basically use it. Like platinum is basically used in the temperature range of minus 260 to 110 degree centigrade, copper 0 to 180 degree centigrade, nickel minus 220 to 300 degree centigrade and tungsten is minus 200 to 1000 degree centigrade. This selection fully depends upon the temperature where you are going to use it. Like if you talk about this platinum, then this platinum is has basically at 0 degree centigrade, it has a resistance of 100 ohms. And as the temperature goes on increasing, this resistance value also goes on increasing. So this is the basic concept. Now if you talk about the benefits of this RTD, then first thing is basically it is very much accurate. It gives us your exact readings. Second, it is consistent if you check it readings again and again then it will give you consistent readings it has long life because it don't have any moving parts it gives you repetitive results also it is suitable for wide ranges of temperature as i have already told you in my last slides it is suitable for extreme liquid properties also because the sensing element it can be uh, covered with some cover also some protective covers also of PTFE or some other things so it can be used about over the extreme liquid properties also like here I want to say that if you have corrosive conditions also then even different types of RTGs are available where you can easily use them also now if we talk about the disadvantages of RTD then it size is basically more than that of the thermocouple power supply is required here compulsory as the variation in the resistance provided to the electric current the name already suggests that here electric current is basically a compulsory thing that must be flown through the circuit an extra apparatus is needed to require the output as i have told that after this sensing element senses it goes to the Wheatstone bridge so that is basically an additional requirement that is being needed for measuring this temperature and it is more expensive than that of a thermocouple so hope this working of this RTD is basically made clear to you so in the next lecture I will be back with a new topic till then goodbye and have a happy new year 2023